Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another extra match. This time it's going to be Clone versus Silencer on Baron. This, well, probably won't take as long as the other games. Yeah, the other games were quite long. Anyway, Clone starting out with Jump Bot Factory in the northwest corner of the map, Platincom as well, and Silencer with Clickbot Factory and Reconcom in the southeast corner of the map. And should remind you that unlike the 2v2 tournament, the commanders have been nerfed. They only generate 4 metal and 6 energy per second, and have no way of generating any more than that. Ever. So yeah, they've been nerfed. Bill going for Quick Pyro. He is... Possibly going for some raiding. Definitely going to be able to get rid of the glaives, no problem. But Silencer, he is going for raiding. Getting 5 glaives on top of the one he has already. He is... He is starting out heavy raid. While Clone, on the other hand, getting a Pyro, and looks like he's going for heavy economy. He's building up... Getting his standard little... Solar Collector Wall, which I always like. I like to see that, yeah, Solar Collector Wall being built up behind, well, in front of the Lotus. The Lotus is behind them. Really hard to get to, especially for Cloaky Bots, but, well, maybe not that hard. As we'll see, we, the Glaive will go around and actually won't have much of a chance to even get in before, well, tries to run away, dies instead. And Silencer just building up behind that, but like I said, he is going for heavy raiding. He has five Glaives coming in. Not sure if he's going to wait for all the glaives to be done first, but he... No, he is not. He is going each glaive one at a time. And one pyro going along the southwest. I don't think Clone... Clone has not revealed what his factory type is. He does have... He doesn't know what Silence is going for. Silence does not know what Clone's going for, so Silence doesn't actually know that this is a good idea. In fact, setting one glaive is going to be kind of tricky to deal with for Clone... But admittedly, the Pyro is also going to be hard for Silencer to deal with. And it looks like Clone keeping his Silencer out of the way, I think... I'm sorry, his Pyro out of the way. He doesn't have a Silencer. Clone's Pyro has been revealed. And now must burn things to live. However, it's not going to be able to get out of there. Silencer's Commander is able to take it out. And that Pyro not able to get in to do any harassment. That's a bit of a shame. Clone tried to keep it out of the way. Unfortunately, did not work out. Clone pushing his Commander up to the... South, just in case he, I guess, gets attacked over there. However, the glaives are in place. I guess Silencer is not going for raiding? That's unusual. You'd expect he would. Getting a... The thing is, is that what Clone wanted to do, of course, was to get the Pyro back here to deal with all his economy. And I mean, like, five... Well, two to five seconds longer, that would have actually happened, too. In another five seconds, Clone would have torn Silencer's economy to shreds. Another Pyro. See, pyro starting to get just pumped out on mass. First Pyro has been built. It looks like Clone is going for that. I was going to say, he should go to the north and go south from there. But it looks like Silencer is going for a counter raid. And attacking both sides. Not sure where Clone is exactly, so he wants to check everything. Sending three glaives over to the west, three glaives over to the north, and another glaive over kind of the center. Just to make sure he knows what's going on. And he will find the Pyro to the north. That Pyro will stop the glaives. Or at least, will force him to fall. It'll force him to fall back. But Clone, I'm not sure how much he's focused on going directly forward. He does have a riot cannon on his commander, by the way. Going for riot cannon based commander, losing a metal extractor, getting rid of all the glaives. And I don't know that has Silencer actually upgraded his commander. No, he has not. Still a level zero recon commander. Nothing special about that. But yeah, Clone's getting more and more pyros. I'm wondering when Silencer's going to switch over to Rocco's. He's continuing to go with glaives. But yeah, the Pyros don't really care about Glaives. They just throw a terror apart. In large enough numbers, the Glaives would win, but I'm pretty sure it's like 10 to 1 ratio or something in that area. So I don't really see that Clone is going to have much problem if he attacks, but as I've said before, Clone is fairly defensive. He is, on this map though, forced to attack, so I don't know how much he's going to be going heavily defensive. He's... I don't know. He does seem to be kind of cautious. He's trying to make sure that as little as possible can come from the north side. Sorry, from the south. Can go north into his base. The Pyro's coming in from the north side. They're going to be able to get rid of this Lotus, but Lotus and Glaive combined might be a bit of a problem. The Glaives in the own though, not so... I don't know, enough Glaives, actually. There were enough Glaives there. Damaging the Metal Extractor slightly, but not really dealing all that much damage. Clone... Those Pyros are really not doing much, unfortunately. Not his main focus, though. His main focus has been expanding behind. It has been setting up Everything... Although even then, Silencer has been setting up more. He's been getting a stronger economy. He has stronger in-base economy. There's been... I mean, the Solar Collectors are okay, but they're expensive. Yeah, they are good as walls. But as far as power goes, 
Silencer has got the much more cost effective option, especially since the wind is blowing very nicely right now. But yeah, Silencer's option right now is much more cost effective. Which is giving him some overdrive. Which admittedly is kind of necessary actually because... Wait, how is it necessary? Why is that... Okay, that's that was weird. Oh, I see. This is a one metal and this is a two metal spot. Okay, that makes sense. That's why, because the three normally it's three two metal spots in a base, and Baron splits up one of the two metal spots into two one metal spots up here and down here. That explains why the metal is a little bit wonky. However, that being said, this metal extractor, well, being overdrive, everything he's being overdrive just enough. I think that Silencer does have a slight advantage, and he does have just map control advantage too. He is going in with some glaives. Pyro's being a bit of a problem, but those glaives can just go past. They don't. Like, they are not there to live. They're there to kill and die. They're not there to actually survive the raid. They're just there to deal some damage. Against jump bots, you really can get away with that because jump bots are very expensive. They're individually powerful, but they are expensive units, so you don't have to worry so much about whether or not you lose one of yours to theirs. I mean, with glaives at least. With more expensive units, it does matter, but with glaives, not so much. So, glaives are going to be a major problem rating wise for clone and his commander actually getting quite a bit of damage here from these Rockos. They aren't getting too much about it directly though. They're focusing much more on just pushing clone's lines back. However, he is going to lose his commander. Silencer with his commander coming in here and clone about to lose his commander and down it goes. Clone's out one commander at 10 metal now. That actually is... At the same time though, Silencer loses his commander as well. But clone looks like he was relying a lot more on it. He lost on the metal at the same time, which means at this point, Clone and Silencer both have an economic disadvantage. But this southwest side of the map is the most important part of the map right now. Whoever can reclaim this is going to be very far ahead. All the metal is here between the two commanders. And there's a lot of metal here for reclaim. There's about a thousand metal in reclaim alone between the two commanders. That is something that both players are likely to shoot for very hard. And I think Clone, Clone is starting to push it out. These Pyros are doing a decent job, but they are fighting against Rockos. It's going to be tricky. It comes down to when they time their jumps, really. That's their only hope of getting in in time. Losing another Pyro to the Rockos. I think is Rockos pretty much counter Pyros, which means that the Pyros can't get around it. They can jump in, and jumping in definitely does them a lot of good. The Pyros are basically unhittable by Rockos while jumping in, but any other time, they're just going to they're going to get hit. They can dodge around, they can weave around, but it's difficult for them to catch up to the Rockos. However, this Pyro. About, I think, let's take a, Well, it's actually ready to jump right now, so that was just health, not jump power. These Rockos here are cornered and done for, but not quite! No, with enough firepower, that Pyro does go down. This next Pyro here, though, is going to be able to deal with the Rockos. That's too much issue, but I guess I was wrong with the Glaives. The Glaives actually aren't too bad against Pyros. It's probably more like a 3 or 4 to 1 ratio. Which is actually about even for cost. At least from the looks of it. It's a bit hard to tell, though, because the Rockos do make that difficult to work out. However, these Rockos are going to go down... Pyro able to get rid of three Rockos for, well, for the cost of his life, but that actually works out. Rockos are 90 metal each, so yeah, that was a slight cost-effective trade. 270 metal for 220, not a bad trade. And now the Pyro is going to come in here, should be able to get rid of these Glaives, but not, not quite. Gets rid of two. So this southwest side of the map is very contentious. The northeast side of the map, however, is Silencers. He's just gone and taken it. More Pyros going to the south. Clone just focused entirely on the south side of the map. At the same time, Silencer has been building up more and more power structure at his base. Clone has not. Clone's base has basically stagnated this entire time. He's focused entirely on building up Pyros. I just don't see how it's going to work out in his favor. Silencer basically has this game. It's just a matter of getting... As long as he gets rid of the Pyros, he can stem the flow of Pyros and kill them off before they become any sort of critical mass, which he's doing fairly well already. He should be fine. And because he has the metal advantage, he's pushing out twice as many... Well, twice as much metal worth of units as... Clone is. Right now, he already has a 400 metal advantage. At this point, though, northeast side, Clone tried to deal with it, but really couldn't. And now, Silencer has the southwest. He has taken it. He just needs to get a few workers here. Clone not quite realizes this from the looks of it. He does have a worker set up to take all the metal extractors here. But yeah, this reclaim, that all belongs to Silencer right now. All his. And he's actually starting to raid in the base once again. Not a whole lot of defenses. One Pyro that will be able to stop these Glaives, but that's about it. He, it looks like Clone's just going to counter raid, going in the northeast, trying to get rid of the metal extractors here, not taking care of the reclaim, which is 
it's risky. I mean, if he gets rid of all of Silencer's Metal Extractors, he'd be okay, I think. It'd be about even with the Reclaim, but then again, just send more workers and take the Reclaim faster, and that's exactly what's happening. Another Conjurer coming in here to the southwest, while about a dozen Glaives are headed over to the north side, getting through the defenders, getting through all these defenses here. Same time, here at the northwest side of the map, come on, you gonna follow. At the northeast side of the map, we do have the Byros taking care of all of these defenders, taking care of all the, well, as many metal stretches as they can. At the same time, we do have, where is it? There we go, the Glaives coming from the north side, no, well, sorry, south side, going north. Gonna run into this power plant wall. Not sure what's gonna work out, apparently not very well at all, in fact, these Glaives just aren't really caring, they're just going through it entirely. Clone did not fully wall off, and that does not leave much in the way of options. At the same time, Pyros are coming into the south, but even then, it's just not gonna be enough, I don't think. Half a dozen Glaives are coming to try to defend, and they are gonna be... They're going to be partially roasted, but they are going to actually make it, I think. A couple of them do go down, but so do all the Pyros. And that attack has been completely stopped, as has the Glaives, but still... No, the Glaives just went back. they running into some random Lotuses. Bit of an odd place to put them. The, I was expecting to be over here, actually. Over here is kind of okay, because we're expecting attacks from the northeast. But attacks through the center will be defended by Lotuses right on this part of the hill. So I'm not sure exactly what that motivation is. But it is going... Yeah, this is Clone's loss. This... Clone does not have this game at all. Gonna fire with a few more Pyros, but Silencer has taken it. So that is going to be game, and then we'll be going on to another replay with Clone and Silencer once again. Once this is done. Silencer just pushing in for the kill, and there we go! That's game! Clone surrenders, and we have... That game done, so... Be back in just a minute or two with the next game. The clone and silencer on a larger map this time. Be on Battle for, okay, not a larger map. On Battle for Planet 17. So stay tuned for that.